get what you want. Do you know what you want? I said, you can't get what you want. Do you know what you want? Cause you know you just can't get what you want. Do 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 Yes, buddy. Um Over there, over there I was gonna go over, but um you can't turn down there. No sense of all the way down there. You can't turn, but you can get it up here. You can get your kicks at Route 66. All roads, all roads are, are connected with one particular route. I'm not sure if it's 66, but here's um. Oh, we can go right in, I guess. I guess. As soon as we wait for the light, can we do all the intro music. Oh, they got all kinds of cars up here. I don't know. Oh, there's no entrance here. Oh, well, maybe it's I thought it used to be. Oh, it's got tables out there. Oh, yeah, here. But I just was thinking to myself, like, I don't know, I mean, I don't, I'm not really a student or faculty. You know, our vehicle's up here. But here's where they did a uh, scent of a woman. How fitting day and age where we are again that was that is like a huge big it's a catch I mean it's so oh, the golf cart is I, I was telling Francis I said this place up here is just in a just loaded I mean not only the architect just just it's so historic just even the new add-ons Everything, everything, it's just, it's stacked. I mean, places like this do good. It's like Russell Stage College. You know, the women's college is around here. This is not necessarily a college, I think it's like a school. I mean, all my uh, interactions, especially when uh, I used to deliver pizzas here in the 90s. I used to order a lot. But, you know, it was always like really young ladies. It wasn't, um... You know, you could tell you could tell it was no, it wasn't college. But um, yes, all that D, all that da, life goes on. Money, that's what it's all about. I mean, we do have a dandy of a show for you, but we're um, we're gonna have to do it in here uh, momentarily. We got the heat on. It's a little chilly. I mean, I can wait. It's gonna start getting colder poison the summer has all gone and I mean not not quite yet I mean we still have the Indiana summer or if it's Indiana or Indian Indian it's not Indiana yes I remember too as a kid there used to be the Detroit beverage mark was uh I think at one time where like mashers and push tears uh was I was almost gonna say were well, let's let's get out. Let's see. Uh, let's see how chilly it is. We just have a, a long sleeve shirt on, but it's, it's wide open. With a tank top underneath. I didn't. You know, I, I wasn't. I didn't think it was just gonna just drop. Nah, it's not too bad. But all right. Yes, I think we're gonna turn this off a little bit. We're not billionaires here. Can't be. Uh, you know constantly running it because I don't know how long this video is going to be I mean I did a lot of that but I'm you know I'm the one paying for everything around here and yes we have dreams and desires too I was just like thinking to myself well why did why did I do this show you know because I got to think of perception well I'll tell you the truth I did it because it was available I mean everyone's got their thing Everybody does does it here differently. 
I mean, this is easy for me to maintain. Either you like it or you don't. You know, and it had you know has always benefited me. I mean, who else is gonna look out for me? I mean, that's that's the truth. I mean, if if it wasn't the truth, I mean, you think I would do this? If I had if I had somebody that was uh, you know telling me here do this do this like you know be my manager like here. You know, well, you know, I'm older now. You can't, you can't kind of send me to Emma Will or to Russell Sage. But, you know, where else could I have done it? You know, I, I thought about it. Like, you know, I mean, could I did the morning show? Should I should I have done it in my spare room? And all those times where I did it, you know, where I did all these videos and everything like that. I mean, who would have who would have said like, yes, get this guy in today, sign him up. You know, who would have t took me in? Because I wasn't following anything. I wasn't following it the way they want you to follow it. But now I am. Now I am. I understand it. I understand it more than you think. Especially, you know, when it's being, like, uh, presented to us. And I think a lot of people avoid it. They turn it off. You see them go back and forth. I mean, if something's bugging them, they'll put something up. You know, they'll put they'll put they'll put I don't know a Kavanaugh thing or something or a Trump. Then they'll go back to like spiritual or whatever or a funny video or something like that. But maybe you know maybe they you know, maybe they watched a little bit. Maybe someone told them something. Saying we can't lose. You know what's at stake. I'm going to take away all these things that we have. So you know what happened? I'll be honest. For the longest time here, I don't know who fell asleep at the wheel. And I'm not being, you know, um, anti-liberal or anti-love or anything like that. I just think we got away from, from traditions. You know, little by little. We just dispelled, you know, any kind of traditions. See, around here, I was talking to my Aunt Lisa, she's elderly, and I've talked to a lot of people lately. Hey, I like coffee. Over here in this area, like way back maybe when she was a teenager or something like that, Irish. This area, there's a lot of Irish people. Irish people came. And they came up to this area. Like a lot of the, a lot of everything. Everything were owned by the Irish. In the forties and the fifties, you know, Italians started coming over. The Italians. And uh, you know, by the time by the time I was born and stuff like that, you know, the neighborhood was just filled with Italians and not Irish. Italians and Irish. And, uh, yes, where are we going with this, man? You have to get back to a little bit of opening up the floodgates. Yes. So, and then I I was, like, with the with the beverage mark. I just remember, like, you know, being eight, eight or nine, all the fifth half people and stuff like that, just going in there and just, like, wow, getting a fresca. Or whatever, man. You know, whatever they had back then, like orange soda. You know, possibly Mountain Dew. I don't know how long that goes back. I'm pretty sure it had Mountain Dew. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just getting back. I'm just getting my thinking back from a month of just following all this stuff that was just. It's just. It's too hard to comprehend unless you get to like um, the like the tentacles. Like, what is this thing that we're, you know, this thing, it just never ends. Is it an octopus? I mean, it's good, or whatever, some kind of thing. You know, there's just so many things to it. And the thing is, it is what it is. All, like, life goes on. And it is always what it has been. Nothing has changed. 
with this environment. And you know how they put, you know, like, environment on environment people, and this people on that people. I'm not going to mention it no more. You know, breathe. I mean, despite, you know, the, the, the chemical trails, whatever you're doing with the water, the food, you know, they, I know a lot of people think about this. I mean, when, when the floodgates were, were, were open, it's like, don't tell me what to do. This is acceptable, that's acceptable. Made me nervous. I don't know about you. I was like, during the whole Obama thing, all I kept saying was, I mean, like, who's running what? You know? I hear reports like, oh, this, you know, press shopper's not doing too good no more and everything, or, or this place ain't, or, or they're going here, or they're going there, or they're going everywhere, they're going on vacation, they're going out to dinner, they're going to this, they're going to a movie, you know? They're going on vacation again, they're coming back here, they're going to do this, they're going to do that, you know, live it up to the last drop. Live it up. You know, stand in front of statues. You know, the things, that's perfectly fine. We're not, we're not going after anybody particular here. We're not even going after anybody. We're just talking. It's, 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 it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. But, I mean, can you, like, it's like you're a runner. It's like we have to live all, we have to, you know, I mean, the adults are being like kids. They're being like kids. You know? Again, you know, if we had a backer, we had somebody like, you know, like want to, like, you know, let us go over the news and let us not be censored. I think we would get somewhere. We're not mean. We're not mean. But there's certain things that have to be done, but they can't be done because there's so many people just been taught this new way. This this, this new way of, of how it should be. Versus everybody on I mean, it's like a certain group that they just went after. I know, I'm not dumb. I did this show for a while. I listened to them all. And I know the certain people that they go after. And it's sad. It's sad. Where, 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 where does it get them? I mean, do they ever, like, think about them? Think about those people? It's like, well, what do we do to these poor people? You know, they just came over here. They were just, they were around. And we thought that they were impeding and interfering you know, with our philosophy because, you know, we, we learn different ways. We got so advanced. We got so advanced. And there was a reporter, someone said, you met aliens. Oh, their skin was gray and wrinkly. There's a big McDonald bag over here. Have you ever seen an alien? You know, I mean, here's here's our chance. And if it was, would anyone believe me? There was an alien here. What, you know, we have the stereotype of what an alien is supposed to look like. You know, with the big eyes. Just looking. Looking around. Again. Let's just say he walked, I started shaking his hand. Or whatever, he started talking to me. So I said, what? So I could communicate with me. What, what, what are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm listening to your video, listening to your show. You're saying there's some, someone's going after this person, that person, you know, people, you know, it's like, you know, why can't you just say it? Well, they know. They know, alien. And this whole thing, like, you know, with, uh, with Ro what's his name, Rosenstein? And everything like that. I mean, this is just crumbs coming off right now. Crumbs. But let's just say... Let's just say something was revealed. 
And it turned out there was a lot of people that did a lot of bad things. Extremely bad things, you know. They rigged stuff, or they, you know, they had their own, they had their own little, little scam going on, all that kind of stuff. Let's just say it was exposed. Let's just say the truth was there. Just like with the alien. I found an alien. Is it going to change things? No one's going to believe me. Or if this information comes out, let's say it does, it's not going to change nothing. You know, it's still going to be this way. I mean, I'm no uh, fortune teller or anything like that. I'm not psychic anymore, but I have faith. I have faith that uh, if you do the right thing, you know, eventually, you know, you might get somewhere. Have I been scared? Absolutely. Petrified. Terrified. Every time I did this show, extremely worried. You know, putting this kind of stuff out there and nobody responding. But yet they'll go over and they'll hit like likes, millions of likes, like I always said. You know, somebody puts a picture, fabulous. Someone puts a uh, food, wow. A vacation picture, wow. I'm over here like, you know, my heart. Talking about, th talking about, I mean, stop and then look at things. Well, you know, you can't, you can't do that. Because you gotta, you gotta keep on going and getting the last drop. You gotta get that last drop. 